Hi. Come here so we can see you up close. I'll get you a dust back in a minute. Can I brush you? Or are you just going to run? Hello, hello everyone. This is a 10 week old Royal Persian Angora baby chinchilla. Isn't she cute? So the difference between a, Roy a regular chinchilla and a Royal Persian Angora is they have twice as long hair and smaller ears. I basically call them the teddy bear chinchilla. And her fur is still growing in. It's going to get a lot longer than it already is. There she is. Thank you, Queen, for the heart. Once I get some more people on here, I'm going to get her her dust bath. Hi, Queen. See how long her hair is? You want your dust bath? Let me get her dust. Huh? I'm doing good. I just figured I'd bring this little baby on today because this will be the last day I have her. Her mama's coming to get her today. She's got a new mama. Honey, the dust is in there, not on the ground. She's got a new home. The little girl. She is a standard gray royal Persian Angora chinchilla. I know. They love their dust. See how furry she is? She's so cute. Uh, it's the same as a regular chinchilla over 20 years. She's just a special breed. She has, um, she, I think she's nine weeks. I have to look at her, her papers, but nine, about nine weeks. But as she continues to get uh, bigger, her hair will get longer. Are you getting so clean? I just brushed her. She didn't really like that. Did you, Miss Pris? Oh, that happens. They get out. Okay, she don't like that brush. I had a really good chinchilla brush, but uh, my four-year-old broke it, so I have to order another one. Can, I, can everyone see you up close, pretty girl? Hmm? Isn't she pretty, guys? <laughs> oh, they get out, man. You forget to latch that cage. They are cute. Uh, I, I don't have a name for her, Emma. Uh, <clears throat> her, She's called a Royal Persian Angora Chinchilla. She has twice as long hair as a regular chin. Oh my God, she's fast. Uh, Amazon's got like a bunch of good cages, Critter Nation, Ferret Nations, and you can also get good deals on the marketplace if you're looking for a used one. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Samantha. She's nine weeks, Emma. And she'll be going to her new mama here in a little while. Um, I'm in Missouri. Pretty close to like the St. Louis area. If you guys are new here, everyone please follow. Oh, 
Oh, Dusty, I like that name. Are you going to come to me or are you just going to run, run, run? Oh, good jump. Yeah, um, Anna, my email's on there, on, under here. You can email me. <laughs> She's like, leave me alone, I'm playing. But this girl's really sweet. But usually when they're in the playpen, they don't really want to be held. Because they just want to run around and burn off their energy. Right, so soft. I want to show you guys up close, but she's being a little turkey today. I'm trying to get so you guys can see how fluffy she is. In about five minutes of her running around in here, she'll let me hold her. What are you doing behind my back? Come on, get the ball. She really likes chewing on that lava stick. Where are you going? Anyone has any questions, let me know. I just figured I'd get on live with her today since uh, she'll be going home today to her new family. <laughs> hey, Mama's gonna miss this pretty girl. She was the only one in her litter, guys. She loves that chew toy. Where do they live? Uh, I do dust baths every other day, and then if they're in the playpen, I always throw a dust pan in there for them. And they do the dust, okay, so they're from Chile, the Appalachian Mountains. So in the wild, they roll in the volcanic ash in the mountains to get clean. So these guys are exotic pets. You will not find them um, anywhere in the United States running around free in the wild. Um, I've been doing a little research. Um, Pretty sure they were on the endangered list when I read due to in the mountains it was weird I was reading um, I guess there's gold miners in the mountains where they live and so they've taken out I guess a lot of their colonies and stuff where they live and then I know in the 1900s they were big on fur trade but she's just a pet that's just a little history but I know that's the problem now with chinchillas in the world is the um the gold trade and you know them wanting to get all the gold out I don't know if they have any protected areas in Chile I would hope they do yeah yep they go in the playpen oh yeah she was in my bedroom got for four or five weeks <laughs> her and her mom so everybody um, would play with her See, she's sweet. She's just... I've had her in with some of the other chins, but she's a bit shy. But very sweet when I hold her. But all my kids were playing with her when she was upstairs. She would actually cry for us to get her out. Her mom was very sweet, too. Yeah, she's been away from mom. Um, yeah, I, I do believe they do need friends. Because, like, I'll have people, like, oh, they're like, I, you know, they come and get a chinchilla, and then later they're like, oh, they need a friend. Or, like, when I have two brothers or two sisters, I usually like them to go together because they're already bonded. That's sad. You don't want to send two brothers or two sisters off to different people. But if I have to, but usually people, um, hi Dolly, well, um, they're doing good. 
I'm going to show the little, little babies, Ophelia's babies, Savannah's, on live today. Um, I just hopped on with this little Angora girl. Because her new mommy's coming to get her today. So, um, this is a different kind of chinchilla that I usually don't always show. She's a special breed. She has twice as long hair than a regular chinchilla. Royal Persian Angora, she's considered a standard gray. I was just getting, let her get a dust bath and I was brushing her up a little bit before she goes. <gasps> Where are you going? Where are you going, pretty girl? There she is. Say, I don't like the brush, Mom. <laughs> I had a really, thank you. Yeah, they're going to love her. Um, it's for a little girl. jump. Where are you going, Miss Pris? Miss Pretty Girl. See, I told her she let her, she let me hold her. Oh. oh. Hang on, guys, she's behind my back. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see if she'll let me brush her. Are these kind of um, chinchillas, you have to brush them. Or else they get really bad mats. But I encourage other people to brush their chinchillas too so they don't get mats on them. Most of them generally will like it if you go kind of soft. If you're rough, of course they're not going to like it. Good job. And it just keeps their fur really nice. She's like, what is that, Mom? Some of the chinchillas will uh, fall asleep when you brush them. Can I brush your sides a little bit? I got your top. Come on. Can I brush your sides? She's like, nope. Come on out here. Her fur will start getting really long here on the sides, guys, too. See how fluffy she is? She don't mind a brush now, do you, girl? Does that feel good? I have some chins that'll just fall asleep to me doing this to them. Why, hon? It's a little brush. It ain't gonna hurt you. She is nine weeks. I just want to brush her one side and she will not let me. <laughs> I know. I'm just cleaning her up here with a little brushy. There'll be more later. Good girl. You gonna look so pretty. Your hair looks better than mine right now. <laughs> you gonna brush my hair next? Oh, uh, Elle Woods. She's still a work in progress. She, I let her in the big, that big, big playpen the other day, and I zipped it up, and she did uh, jump on my shoulders in there, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, this is a baby. She's about nine or ten weeks. I have to look at uh, the date, but almost, I think, around there. But yeah, Elle Woods, we're definitely going to have to work with her. It might have. They make all sorts of sounds, guys. All sorts of noise. Yeah. Just gonna take some time. Oh, does that feel good, Mama? I'm gonna try brushing Chewy later. We'll see how that goes. And I gotta brush Girly Girl more often. 
Does that feel good? You guys look, she likes it. Does that feel good? Um, about both. But usually they're more fur. What do you guys think? She looks all pretty for her new mommy. She's been doing a dust bath. Thank you, Oline. I started brushing her a couple weeks ago, so she's getting used to it. But you got to be gentle. Well, I've seen some people that brush their chinchillas really rough. I'm not doing that. Like these guys mat very easily, so um, angoras, you could dust bath them every day. And if you don't do it every day, they look greasy. Oh, is that so good? You like the brush. Have you had enough of my brush? Yeah. And her coat's really good. She's not matted at all. Even underneath, I've been make sure I give her a little brush down. Most of them like it. It's like a scratch to them. Are you so pretty? Where are you going? What are you doing? You want that brush? Huh? Yes, so fresh and clean. Um, I give apple slices once in a while to mine. Um, mama chins, probably, because they need the calcium. But I don't recommend it on a weekly basis. Maybe once a month, just one little slice. They do love it. But I don't feed any other kind of fruit. I know like guinea pigs, man, they can have everything to eat. But these guys, their main diet is chinchilla pellets, um, their hay. I feed uh, Timothy hay and alfalfa hay. And then for like little treats, you can give them plain Cheerios or shredded wheats. Maybe one or two of those a day, not like the whole box. This is relaxing. I know her hair is looking better than mine. You gonna brush my hair? I just have mine wrapped up in a bun. Yes, yeah, she does. They love the. They love getting out and being in the playpen, guys. People always ask, do chinchillas want to be held? Um, I say, yeah, they do like being held, but you've got to hold them on a regular basis. And I also, like with baby chinchillas, I let them kind of run around in the playpen, and then you can, they'll let you hold them. But usually after playtime, they're real lovey. Or if you kind of hit them when they're sleepy. Oh, don't put it in a hamster ball. Um, they can, like, overheat in that thing. So, you're better off probably getting a playpen. Oh, it's okay. I mean, what's silly was when you go to the pet store, buy these little cute little guys. They sell the hamster balls, so people think they're okay. Yeah, and the play pens you can get in right here with them, guys, and they jump all over you, and it's a really good way to get them to be get used to you and become your friend. <laughs> she is a jumper today. You jumping because you're having fun? Where are you at? Thank you.
Thank you, Sid. This is my baby Angora. I just brought her out to get a little brush because she is going to her new mommy today. Yeah, my dogs bark a lot too, but um, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, I always tell people, they're like, oh, well, we have dogs. My house is so noisy. I have three kids and three dogs, so... The um, chinchillas at my house, even the babies are accustomed to loud sounds. There's always someone running on a wheel, making a noise. My dogs. So, but they're not in the same room. I, my chinnies are downstairs. And my dogs, um, I don't bring them in here. And most people are pretty glad when I tell them my house is noisy because they have kids, you know, or dogs. You would. The leaping lizard. I'm gonna move that so she don't fall. That feel good. And they do like scratchies, guys. They like a scratchies. <laughs> Cracking me up. I'm going to pull this dust bath out because as, as, as high as she's jumping, man. Are you done with your dust? Okay, I'm going to take it out because I don't want you falling and hitting yourself on that thing. Here you go, hon. Jump around. Right, go play. This is your playtime. What are you doing, pretty girl? I'm working on, in the future, having um, some whites, some black angoras, some mosaics. She is cute. No, don't eat the plate pen. You cannot have my Diet Pepsi. Yeah, she was the only one in her litter. Everyone say hello. There she is. She looks nice and fluffy. And brushed. Mm, get down, baby. The Angoras, they can come in brown, gray. She's kind of like a standard grayish color. And you can get, you know, play pens. I've seen them on Marketplace, Amazon. Um, you know, it just depends. But my favorite one is by Zampa. Those last the longest. They're real thick and durable. Uh-oh. And I don't, if you guys get a play pen, the only thing I will warn you, because I made this mistake, um, everyone thinks, okay, even if you don't want to play with them, put them in the playpen and run around. That's a great thing to do. But you also want to be supervising when you're in the play or be in the playpen because they will chew through the netting. They will chew through all of this. So just to protect your purchase, make sure you're watching them. Loving that toy. Yeah, in the playpen. Because if not, you're going to be mad if you go spend, I don't know, over $100 on something. They chew a hole right through it, you know. <laughs> no one wants to waste their money. At least I don't. No, you're not jumping. Good jump. You can't have my soda. No Diet Pepsi for chinchillas. Mama Mary and her babies are getting jealous right now. Because I don't have them out in the playpen. You'll get to come out next. Or a little later. 
There she is. And she's trying to eat my braids. Yeah, they got some fluffy booties. Are you going to come out? Or are you going to go behind me? If you guys are new here, go ahead and follow. Um, I go live with my chinchillas and my rescues. And you guys, this is not even like how long her fur will get. It's going to get a lot longer. You darn there, almost jumped out of the plate pen. Yeah, no, she ain't getting no Diet Pepsi. That's mine. I don't share my soda. So she just gets water. Don't eat mama's playpen. That's the no-no. There she is. No, you're not jumping out of the cage. Yeah, Mindy, she's nine weeks old. She looks bigger than she is, but a lot of it is her fluffy hair. See? That's how long the hair is. Look at that. It's about an inch long so far. <laughs> that feel good? I think she's starting to tire down here. You going to do any more big jumps for us? Angors especially have to brush. They get very matty on their fur. Some of my chins love it. But you gotta do it kind of soft. You know, they don't... I've seen some people, man, they brush those chinchillas so hard. Come here, sweetie. Come on. Come out of here. Want more brush? I think she likes it. But I've been brushing her for a couple weeks because I didn't want her getting all nappy fur. They look like long hair bunnies. Yeah. Over 20 years, Lena. She is nine weeks old. Good job. No problem. If you guys are new here, go ahead and follow. I would appreciate it. I go live with my uh, chinchillas and rescues. Most of the time I'm in the playpen. Sometimes I'll do cage videos. Not always. It's just when I have brand new babies and they can't always come out in the playpen because they're too young. But I was probably going to get the babies, the little, little babies out for about five minutes today to weigh them. Come on. Yeah, they love to chew on stuff. Chew toys. Yep, they love taking dust baths. Makes chinchilla floofs very happy. Yep. I'm not going to say all of them like being brushed. I won't say that. Come on. No, they're not difficult at all. At all. Um, they eat chinchilla pellets. I feed mine oxbow. Uh, they uh, they eat Timothy hay and alfalfa hay. Little water bottle, and then clean their cage once a week. And obviously, you have to fill up their food and water if they need it. If you have, say, a chinchilla three in a cage, yeah, you're gonna have to clean that more than once a week. But they don't have any smell to them. They get dust baths every other day. Good job. And they are um, exotic animals. They're nocturnal. Sorry, I'm just laughing at her because she's jumping so high. 
They are members of the rodent family. And they're nocturnal. But as long as you spend time with them, they're, they're very good pets. Does that feel good? <laughs> I know you jumped this darn high. I know she does. She's almost got out a couple times. Yeah. She could jump. They could jump very high, guys. Yeah, they love being out in the playpen or if you have, say you don't have a playpen, use your bathroom. Close the door, put the toilet lid down. That's a good area to let your chins run around in. Uh, hallways. But um, if you don't know, like if you have dogs and cats, you might want to monitor them to be away from your chinchillas. Here, making little sounds. Why, hi. Yeah, they're social. She's getting tired. I know, right? <laughs> That's a really cute picture. What? Oh, it's a baby girl. What? She usually will talk back. Oh. She'll be in the cage, and if I talk to her, she cries back. Honey. That feel good? Yeah. Very sweet baby too. A lemur? I've never held a lemur, so I don't know. I thought I always wanted a monkey until I seen how much work those uh those monkey moms go through. I I, I couldn't do it. But they are very adorable. Yes, very soft. Um, Heather, my email is under here. If you click on Chinchilla Diaries under the bio, there's an email in there. Does that feel good? <laughs> you gonna get mommy kisses. You getting tired? Come on. Hear little screechies? She always has made that sound since a baby. Aren't you? Huh? You guys look at her. This is not a really tall playpen, guys. Thanks for following. All right, guys, I just wanted to bring her on live so you guys could see her before she goes home to her new mommy. So I'm going to get her some of her stuff together, and then I'll be back on this evening with the, um, the other new babies, okay? So if you're new here, everyone go ahead and follow, so that way you can get my uh, live alerts, and I'll be back later.